everyone welcome back to my channel welcome to today's video which is going to be valentine's or galentine's makeup tutorial i'm really sorry that this video is shorter and that it's a voiceover instead of a chatty tutorial and it's not as in depth because i am so stressed and so busy this week so i really wasn't going to put out a video but because i just couldn't do that i have resorted to a shorter video so that's why i'm also starting with makeup that i'd already worn on my face so i'm just setting it with a bit of huda beauty powder to kind of get all the oiliness off and then we start to base start to base start to prime the eyeshadow using the Maybelline fit me concealer as a base Once that was all blended out, I then set this with my Rimmel Stay Matte Powder on a lovely fluffy brush from P. Louise. And then we're going in with the beautiful Wedding Wish XL palette from P. Louise. And first I went in with the shade Bond on a kind of small fluffy brush and I just put this into my crease to kind of carve out the outline for the cut crease. And then I went in with a darker shade, which was called I Chose You. And I was just blending this in to the lighter shade that we had already in the crease. Then I went in with a darker pink shade called Treasure You and I just put this in the same place and then blended this into the other lighter shades that we had. And I also went in with a fluffy brush to blend this in even more and I used a bit of the shade Bond which was the first colour that we went in with to blend this out even further. And then I did decide to deepen this up a little bit more and I went in with the shade Tie the Knot which was like a burgundy dark shade and just again blending, blending, blending. And now time to cut the crease. I went in with the same concealer that I used on a flat brush from P. Louise and I just carved this out with concealer. Sometimes I completely take off the eyeshadow but we were cut for time and <laughs> it just made it easier to go in with concealer and it actually worked fine. So I was just making this all nice and neat and then I did set this with my Rimmel Stay Matte Powder again. I then went in with what was left on my brush and I put this underneath my eyes on my waterline and I kind of winged this out and blended it upwards because I thought it would kind of tie in nicely with the cut crease and I just again blended this out with my fluffy brush. I then went in with a really tiny brush and started to draw little love hearts on the cut crease. So I first went in with the P. Louise base in the shade Winter Rose and I then went in with the base in the shade Rumour and then finally the paint in the shade Paprika Punch. And you know what? This was actually so easy to do because you just do like two little lines. It's really not that hard to draw a love heart. So if you want to give this a go, it's honestly super, super, super easy and looks really creative, a lot more creative than it actually is. just put the white on my waterline as well before going in with some highlighter on my brow bone and then my favorite part we went in with some pearl gems which I'd never used before but it was so easy so I just put some eyelash glue on my eyelid and then used these like tweezer tools that came in with the pack I literally bought it off of Amazon and just stuck these four pearls on my eyelid and oh my god I think it looks really cute and it was super super easy honestly I'm in love And I just went in with some lashes, they're nothing special, they were just from Primark and I had used them before, no shame in that at all. And then I went in with some more highlighter on my cheeks, my nose, and I also put this on my inner corners. That is the finished Valentine's, or in my case, Galentine's look. I really actually really like it, and honestly, I didn't think it was going to turn out this good. Please let me know if you like this style of video, like my makeup tutorial with a voiceover instead of me actually talking you through it. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And hopefully I will see you in my next one. I hope everyone's doing okay, by the way. One stressed gal to another. We've got this. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. Bye.